we're here for this afternoon's matchup between the Raiders and the Cowboys. Back in your days when you had to take on a team from the AFC, didn't know them all that well. What was it like as we have this little interconference matchup today? Well, I thought back in those days, Jim, we were about ready to show them what toughness and hard hitting was. Uh, today it's a little different, but I'll tell you this, this NFC team, they are a hard hitting bunch. Sebastian Janikowski lining up for the kickoff. And they're all over him at the 18-yard line. Tony Romo will take it right from the center. First and ten. Miles Austin hauls it in. Well, when you're playing this cover three defense where three defenders are playing deep, that's great. You stop the deep passes, but who's going to stop the quick ones? Well, nobody. That's why the quarterback and receivers are having really good success throwing these slam paddles. Second and four. Quarterback flips it to the running back. Good piece of tackle. Good job that time by the running back getting down the field and picking up big yards. DeMarco Murray is in the backfield. Murray's handed the football, taking off. And they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. When the offense crosses the 50-yard line on defense, you have to be careful now because it gives the offense a little confidence. And what they're going to do here, they're looking for the big play down the field for that quick score. So on defense, you better play safe. It's a mindset. It's a culture. That's what you've got to create when you talk about running the football. And when you get it going the right way, you can grind the defense up. Another first down for this offense running the football. Someone's been injured out there. Hold on a minute. I think you can just tell by the body language and the way he's acting. That is an upper body injury. Hope it's not severe. We'll let you know as soon as we find out. Second and four. Miles Austin hauls it in. The offense has done a good job. They're now down inside the 20. But here's where it gets tough because your plays are limited because the field has been shrunk. That reception gave them the first down. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Tipped away. Good job that time by the defender. Read the quarterback. He sees the receiver, gets in good position, and knocks it away. Let's get the injury report from Danielle Bellini. Guys, I just spoke with a Cowboys official. DeMarco Murray's injury seems to be relatively minor, or at least it's minor enough that he'll be back on the field shortly. After the incomplete pass, it brings up second down. Trying to work that left side. Caught it, but he's out of bounds. Well, Jim, I can't say that's great defense. That's just a poor throw and a poor route run by the wide receiver. Over 59. It's a two tight end formation. Robo's got it in the gun. Throws the pass. Makes the grab. Touchdown. And what a touchdown there for the offense. The quarterback just fires that football in there. Look at the defenders around the receiver. But the receiver, big enough, tough enough to go up in there and make that catch. The Cowboys for the point after. Extra point is good. Cowboys will be kicking off. And he's 
missed tackle just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. Terrell Pryor will be under center. First and ten. Pryor's turning to look downfield now after selling the play fake. And he is tackled at the 44. It's always good when your quarterback is able to deceive the defense with good play action fakes. That's what did it that time. Look at the quarterback. Nice fake. Defense reacts to the run, and now you throw it over the top for the easy completion. First and ten. Play action fake. Looking to throw. The throw to the left. Oh, should have had it. You don't see it often in today's game. These gloves these wide receivers wear, my gosh, anybody could catch it. I don't know how he dropped it. Second down coming up. Flyers going to take it from the gun. Going for the deep ball. He has the ball deep down the field. All the way home and all alone. Touchdown. The Raiders will tie it up with this extra point. Add the extra point, the kick is good. Raiders ready for action. And they're all over him at the 18-yard line. going to get set in the slot for this snap. Trying to find an opening to the right. Second down. The post route, deep down the field, going towards the goal post. It's not called enough in this league. Nice throw by the quarterback. Bryant's lined up in the slot. First and ten. Bryant's going to take the handoff now. Shakes off the tackle. He steps out. On the carry. Here we have second down. They're setting up screen. Oh, the, we've got an injured player on the field. That's a good job. He's able to get up and get off the field. And my guess is he's going to be okay. A little bit of a scare there, no doubt about it. That makes everybody nervous. DeMarco Murray is in the backfield. First down and 10. 
throws to the right. Brings it in. They bring him to the turf. Perfect defense call that time. They allow the catch. The coach on the sidelines going, well, what else do you want me to do? We had the guy double covered, and you still couldn't make the play. First and ten, looking across the middle. Dez Bryant with the catch. Uh, there's nothing the defense can do. When you talk about a receiver like these guys out there now, and, and this one in particular, the double coverage, they're still able to go in between the defenders, rise up, and make the catch. First and ten. Puts up six. What a tough throw and catch into a tight spot right there for the touchdown. But in today's game, these players are so good that you have to throw it in traffic. They've got to make the catch. That time he did. The Cowboys with an extra point try on the way. And it's a fake. Got a touchdown. Got a two-point conversion. People love to go for two in this game, don't they? Well, they do, and you know what? Now, I guess you and I just can't sit here and blast the coach for a bad decision. When you pick up the two points, you can't complain about what they're trying to do. Jacoby Ford with a chance to return one. He's brought to a halt. Terrell Pryor will be under center. First and ten. Brings it into his body. They get to him just in time. One yard shy of the first down. Ohio! McFadden's lined up as the single back. Darren McFadden will run with it. And a good gainer. Let's give him nine. When you run off tackle, one of the things you're looking for is for your tackle to make a good block, and then if you have a lead pullback, can he get past him and block the linebacker to free up the halfback so he can go in between them and get in the secondary and make a big play. Moore's a receiver in the slot. Second and 12. Ball is out. A recovery by the defense. That time the offense fumbles the football, but the defense hit them so hard, uh, there's no chance of hanging on. Hits the ground and the defense recovers. First down here. Jason Witten with the grab. Well, that last play almost got him in here. And when you look at this, what do they do? Well, you just want to punch it in. There's a lot of, a lot of different scenarios. You could do a play action fake, probably get somebody wide open, or have a running back just jump over the top for the touchdown. That's a good job by the defense, just playing the situation. Second and short, they know they have a conservative coach on the other side. They played for the run, and they stopped it short of the first down. 15 minutes down, 45 minutes to go. And you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Second quarter is underway. In for the score, Dallas. Anytime, Jim, it's third and goal. You've got to decide, what are we going to do? Well, this time the offense, nice design. They throw the football, and the quarterback puts it right on the money for the touchdown pass. The Cowboys now will tack on the extra point. Extra point was good. They want the football back as they line up now in an onside kick formation. The receiving team has the recovery.
McFadden lined up in a single back formation. First and ten. Here's the handoff to Darren McFadden. And that's going to be a new set of downs at the 29. Good job that time by the running back. I'm sure he's a little winded after that play. He showed that speed getting out there and picking up those extra yards. First down here, here after the run. First and ten. Leading on that running attack again here on first down. That's a terrible read by the running back. It's a short game, but it's all his fault. He picked the wrong hole. He should have cut it back. He didn't, and that's why he was tackled. Second down after going to the ground game, the first play. He's looking to the right here on this throw, and he was wide open. Gains 19. Well, anytime you're in the red zone, you want to punch it in and get that touchdown. If they do that, look, they still, they're still going to be behind, but it gives them confidence moving forward. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. They're going back up top. Touchdown, and they cut into that lead. Well, it's a good touchdown by the offense there. And, you know, and what it's done, it's gotten this game closer. Gives them confidence, and confidence is a dangerous thing. We'll see if they can keep moving forward after this. Lining up now for the two. On the run. They will not find a way into the end zone, so they'll only get six points out of the trip. The Cowboys are ready to run back this kick. the 18-yard line. Marco Murray is in the backfield. Looking to the right side and throwing. Almost intercepted that time. Just stick the football on it. When you see a receiver run a route like this, they're going to the corner, drive it, throw it on a line drive, so that way there can't be a mistake. Second down following that incompletion. He'll throw it over the middle. Reaches out and snatches it. The tackle is going to be made, but he's beyond the first down marker. Every quarterback in the NFL loves this coverage where you got four defensive backs all playing deep. So in routes, anything across the middle, usually it's wide open. Good job of the quarterback taking advantage of the defense that time. Secures it with two hands. That'll stop the play right there. Well, I guess the only good thing you can say about that play, the quarterback's happy, he gets a completion, but it only goes for a couple yards. Second down after that pass play. Makes the reception. 
met at the 40-yard line. Nice job by the quarterback. Nobody open down the field. He throws it short. It does not get a first down, but it sure makes third down a lot easier. Third down after the completion. Romo stepping back into the shotgun. Scrambling out of the pocket. He'll be brought down, but not before picking up the first down. Well, Romo is so dangerous when he decides to take off with it, and we saw it on that occasion. Tony Romo doesn't want to run with the football, but if you make him, if you take all the avenues away from him from throwing the football down the field, he'll take off and he can still get it done. Bryant's in the slot. First and ten. Bryant's taking the handoff. That's a tackle right near the 48. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. Get ready. Romo's back in shotgun formation. Gets away from the pressure. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Bryant's lined up now as a slot receiver. Third and five. Looking to scramble. Coughed up the football. They recover their own fumble. What a lucky break this time. They fumble, but they recover it and maintain possession. NFL teams, the offense, every single day they work with anybody that's going to handle the football. How to hold it. He didn't do a good job that time. That's why he fumbled. Split backfield here. Jason Witten able to haul in the touch pass. Yeah, I'm sure you're really proud of yourself that time. You go for it on fourth down, you get it. I'll give you that, but I still think it was a bad decision. First down here after the completion. Robo's dropping back to pass once again. Ball's loose. Recovery by the offense. That's a timeout by the D. Well, the defense always says, let's call some fumbles. Then when you cause it and you're not able to recover it, that is one emotional letdown. a serious drive looking for an open receiver on the right the Cowboys now move the chains anytime you picked up a couple first downs here's what happens the defense starts to doubt what they're doing but maybe more importantly it gets those big boys over there tired offense heading to the line for the 11th play of the drive what a hit, and the ball is dropped. That's interesting. As you watch the receiver trying to make that catch, he knew the defender was close, so he didn't put all of his heart into it. The defender made a nice hit and knocks the football out to the ground. Play number 12 coming up for the offense. Second and ten. Ball's going to be incomplete. The hit knocked the ball out. Let's just tell it like it is, Jim Nance. His receiver is not a very tough guy because he gets hit. It should have been a complete pass. When he gets hit, he just throws that football on the ground, and the pass is incomplete. This has been a long drive so far. So now a third and ten. He'll fire it out to the left. Fakes the catch. Touchdown. Nothing like having a quarterback who has a good arm who can, who can just fire that football into some tight spots. And then it helps when the receiver 
got the talent and the courage to go in there and make that tough kick. It's good. They're lining up for the onside kick. They want to get the ball back. Side kick is turned away, and the receiving team has it. Halftime, two minutes away. Ten. Throws to the right. The Raiders get a first down. This is where games are won and lost. Once an offense gets down the red zone, even though they're down more than seven, can you find a way to punch it in there for the touchdown and not settle for a field goal? is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Got a little screen set up here. Catch is made. The tackle was made. There wasn't much there that time, so good job by the quarterback just throwing the ball and, and, and getting the catch and just getting a couple yards. Offense lines up here. Second and eight. Screen play is on. Under fire on that throw. Offense lines up here. Third down and eight. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Should have had it. Well, he dropped the football, and there's no doubt why he dropped it. You have to look it in. Offense lines up here. Out of the shotgun formation. Touchdown. Man, they get one back. What a tremendous throw by the quarterback that time for the touchdown. What confidence he has in that arm. Small window, very little room to throw that football in there. He didn't worry about it, fired it, got the touchdown. Ohio, Ohio! He'll get set, looking to convert on this two-point try. And the give to Darren McFadden. How much does this sting? They get the touchdown. But Phil, they fail to get the two. Uh, Jim, I think it takes a lot away from the football team. It was a terrible decision. Now we'll find out if that one point comes back to haunt them. The ball is out. Bumble's picked up, and now he's taking it back the other way. This game is still about hitting. When you hit the other team hard enough, that football comes loose. Nice job by the kicking team. They make the hit, and they recover the fumble. Great job. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. He makes the catch. That's a three-yard game. Well, there's not much to say about that play, Jim. It was a completion by the quarterback, and it picked up a couple yards. Ohio! 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 
Offense lines up here. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. They knock him down, and he's still two yards short of the first. Good job by the play caller that time. Calling for the short pass, even though it comes up short of the first down, it opens up many things that you can do on third. You can run a reverse, draw plays, screen plays, or if you want, you can still throw it down the field. Darren McFadden lined up in the backfield. Fires standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. Looks to his left. Tackled at the 20. Jim, it's third and short. You throw a pass and you complete it. Well, you expect the first down, wouldn't you? No. He throws it short of the first down, and they don't get it. Bad job by the QB. Throwing now to his left. Failed to pick up the first down, and they'll give the ball back to the other side. Well, that's four plays and out for the offense, and that was bad. Bad play calling, bad play, bad execution. Go to the bench and try to rethink what you're doing. Williams going to get set in the slot for this snap. With two hands, he has it. Going to be a tackle for a loss. Over, over. Hurry up, hurry up. DeMarco Murray is in the backfield. Second and 11. Airtight coverage, incomplete. Got to give the secondary credit. In this passing league now, it's hard to make plays, but a good play there and another incomplete pass. Hey, hey. Yellow, yellow, ready. A ton of defensive backs out here for this play. Interception. He's brought down. Give a lot of credit to the defense this time. They got the offense backed up. It's inside its own 20. They're aggressive, and being aggressive gives them a chance to get the interception, and they make it. Nice play. And this will be from 47 yards, the field goal attempt. try yes sir the other defense is going to be excited they come out there the offense has great field position but they stop them but they give up three points but still a victory for the defense we're back here now in this one where the cowboys are leading by seven chance to return this one. Terrell Pryor will be under center. And now here's the first snap of the second half. Trying to make something happen. Looking to the right side and throwing. Intercepted. Tackles made. Mostly the ball linebackers. The borderline good enough to be a running back. And they got the hands of defensive backs. Here's a good case. What a fine catch on the interception by the linebacker.
first down coming up. They give it to the running back. Now takes the move to the right. Tyvon Branch in on that last play. Good job by the running back coming in there, breaking a tackle, picking up some extra yards. That's after being hit and knocked out earlier in the game, too. Second and nine to Williams. And complete. Brought down at the 47-yard line. Good job by the quarterback that time. Makes the decision. Throws it short. It does not get the first down. But I promise you, third and short is a lot easier than having third and long. Witten's a tight end, but lined up in the backfield for this play. Setting up a little screen. The pass complete. He's got some daylight. That's been the story of this game. Another third down conversion to move the chain. Players showing no restraint, coming in on the quarterback, and that late hit will cost his team 15. A lot of times these late hits are called, and I, I feel for the defensive player. Not in this case. That was an easy call. A blatant late hit. It's worthy of 15 yards. Working that left side. Six for the Cowboys. Nice job running that fade down the field. Nice throw by the quarterback, and we get a touchdown. The Cowboys lined up now for the point after. Oh, it's a fake. They failed to convert on the two-point try, so they'll just have to settle for the six. They line up here for the onside kick. They want that football back. That kick came right at him, and it looks like the receiving team has recovered. Hey, man, 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 man. Darren McFadden lined up in the backfield. First and ten. Running away from the pressure. Terrell Pryor is six foot six. He is sneaky, quick, and fast for a guy that size. And he did the right thing. Nice job of running with the football. Second down now. There's some shifting around in the backfield. of the gun gets away from the pressure he's in the clear nowhere else to go and he's out of bounds well when your team is behind what do you do just come out there and get a first down that's a nice job by the offense Darren McFadden lined up in the backfield. First and 10. He'll fire it out to the left. Sticks to his hands. Nice catch by the receiver, but it still doesn't get a first down. This would be second down. Pryor's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Incomplete, almost going in the other direction. When you see this cover two defense as a quarterback, you got to know where to throw the football. That time he did not make a good decision. You got to throw it sometimes deep down the middle. The safeties are not there, they're outside. He did not take advantage of that coverage that time. Third and seven following the incompletion. That catch gives them a first down. The tackle was made, but the first down is picked up. Find a way to score. That's always the mantra with every team when they get in the red zone. If you punch it in here, even though you're down by more than seven, it'll give you confidence for the rest of the game. Eyeing that left side. And a completion this time. Nice throw that time by the quarterback in the red zone. Gets a completion. 
And there's some tight spots, not a lot of room, so you got to really drive the football in there. Second down here, quarterback taking the snap from the shotgun. Touchdown. That'll close the gap. Good job by the offensive coordinator calling those plays. Leads to a touchdown. They're just slowly chipping away at this lead. Now can their defense come out and help them out? Hey, hey, watch the alert, alert. Hey, like Lining up now for the two-point conversion. Challenging the defenders to the right side. So they give up the touchdown, but they do not allow the two-point play. Yeah, good job that time by the defense. So quick and so ready for that play. They reacted very fast. That's why they stopped it. Sebastian Janikowski lining up for the kickoff. Touchback. They come to the line and it's first down. Tony Romo is going to take it from the shotgun. Loads it up. It's going deep. Good job by the offense picking up a first down there. They've been terrific all day long. They're winning the football game, and they are tiring this defense out. Witten's usually a tight end, but he's in the backfield this time. Trying to get it outside before the defense is set. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down. They went with the ground game on first down, bringing up second. Going across the middle, that ball has been picked off. Bringing the play to an end. Well, nowadays, your linebackers, they got to be able to do everything. they got to be big enough to get in there and stop the run and also athletic enough to be able to get in position and make an interception. Good job by the linebacker. They face first down. Well, not too often you see a throw like that in the NFL. That football was not even close to the receiver. Two tight ends on the field here. Second and ten. This is a screenplay all the way. There's the tackle, but still, it's enough for the first down. Nice play call that time by the offensive coordinator. A little screen pass to the halfback. He knew the defensive line was going to be charging hard. They were, and it picked up some nice yards. They've got a first down now after that catch. He's scrambling now, trying to work that left side. That pass was hurried. You cannot play quarterback in the NFL anymore if you don't have good footwork. And that means in the inside the pocket or outside the pocket. Avoid those sacks. Darren McFadden lined up in the backfield. The throw to the left. Complete. Gains 11. Good job by the offense. Another first down. The defense absolutely is getting tired. And when you get tired, you make mistakes. Let's go. 
That reception gave them the first down. He'll fire it out to the left. The interception. That interception is strictly on the quarterback. When you make bad decisions, I don't care how good you can throw the football. The results, usually it's going to turn into an interception. First down. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Right where it had to be. Well, if you want to be a good play-action pass team, it's always nice to have a good running game. Make the defense dig in and try to stop your run. When they do that, you fool them. You fake it. You throw it down the field. That, that's, that's about as easy as it gets. You're going to take off with it. It's got room. Now they'll be on the other side of the 50 after this play. Another first down by the offense. The defense is definitely getting fatigued. And when you get fatigued, you cannot think. So look out. On first down. Get ready. Throws to the right. And incomplete. Now the defense got away with one that time. It wasn't a good play in their part. It was just bad timing by the quarterback and receiver. Bryant's lined up in the slot. Set up screen, and he hauls it in. And it's Charles Woodson in on the tackle. Well, that's a nice completion by the offense. And what it does, it just puts them in a more manageable situation so they can pick up that third down. DeMarco Murray is in the backfield. Third and four. With it. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. First down following the long play. Screen pass. Makes the grab. A tackle behind the line. So many things you could do on first down, and what do you come up? You come up with that play. That was just a bad play call. And Williams is a receiver in the slot. Second and 15. He's looking to the right here on this throw. As good as it gets. Touchdown. Well, in the NFL, no lead is ever safe. So when you got the lead, you push it on in there, score another touchdown, and keep putting the pressure on your opponent. This works out about 40% of the time if you look back on history, and they'll go for that two-point conversion. So, put down the touchdown and a two-point conversion on that occasion. Yeah, good job by the offense. He executed the play perfectly, and they got in the end zone, like you said. He got that two points. The Raiders ready to return the kickoff. Kobe Ford with a chance to return one. And Holmes is in the slot. Flyers got it in the gun. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. He's got a wide open alley. Raiders. Touchdown. 
Touchdown! I give all the credit to the wide receiver here. What a route. Fooled the defender. He is wide open. Nice throw by the quarterback for the touchdown. They're going to bypass the point after and try to pick up the two-point conversion. That hurts. The two-point try is denied. Raiders ready for action. And he'll start his return. the tackles made right around the 25-yard line. Not a good day for the defenses. Welcome back to the action. Marco Murray is in the backfield. Into the open flat. Just had to avoid the sack. Incomplete. Failing to complete that one. So, second down here. Catch is made. Gets to about the 36. When you can't hit the quarterback and put pressure on him, there's not much you're going to get done then. That time, quarterback had time and throws it down the field for another completion. Throws the pass. That's an interception. And here he goes. He's in the clear. Man in for the touchdown. Well, when you study the offense and you know what they're going to do, you're able to make plays like that. You time the interception perfectly, you make the catch, and you take it all the way back for the score. And the point after is good. The Cowboys are ready to run back this kick. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. It's first down as they head to the line. The reception, easy, wide open. That brings the play to an end. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. You're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. up in the pistol formation. Get ready. First and ten. Looking to the right side and throwing. Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. Always hard to guess what the injury is, but and don't like to speculate, but I think it's pretty apparent. It's an upper body injury. We'll let you know when we find out. 50, 50. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Looks to his left. What a catch. Touchdown. You know, if you're a defensive player and you're covering a receiver down here on first and goal, you don't have to cover that much area. That's a terrible job by the defense giving up that touchdown pass. Lining up now for the two. 
So from two yards out, they get it across and secure two extra points. Cowboys will be kicking off. got a chance to return this one and the hit by DeMarcus Ware let's go now to Danielle Bellini who has an injury update guys I just spoke with a Cowboys official Des Bryant's injury doesn't appear to be anything too serious yes he'll be sore tomorrow guys but that's not going to stop him from returning today and Holmes is lined up now as a slot receiver first and ten Trouble now. It's away from the stack. He steps out. Terrell Pryor Number can two, definitely scramble carry. and get you yardage, yardage by running the football. Play. He can. He had great success at Ohio State running the football. In the Oakland Raiders, they need to find more ways to give Terrell Pryor a chance to run the ball. Offense lines up here. Pryor's going to take it from the gun. Escaping the pressure, challenging the defenders to the right side. Rocks him with that hit, and the ball's going to fall incomplete. Well, it's so hard to do this nowadays to jar the football out of the hands of the receiver, but the defender did it that time. He hit him, that football came loose, incomplete pass. And Holmes is going to get set in the slot for this snap inhales the pass the tackle's going to be made but he's beyond the first down marker oh, i loved it when i was a quarterback throwing screens or throwing short passes to the running backs and watch them catch it and get those big yards uh, it was it was awesome to get cheap yards like that throwing now to his left and incomplete as much as these guys practice during the offseason training camp during the week you think receivers and quarterbacks would always be on the same page. That time they were not, and it's another incomplete pass. And Holmes is lined up in the slot. Second attempt. Escaping the pressure, breaks free. Steps out of bounds. Boy, they got a good drive going here, Jim. I guess you don't hear that too much on the golf course, too, the way you hit it everywhere. But this offense, they're clicking. They're making plays. Let's see if they can take advantage of, of just moving this football down the field. Comes out of the dime. Screen. Caught. Touchdown. This game is tight. Yeah, that was a terrific job getting that touchdown there. And what you've done, you've closed the gap. Keep chipping away at that lead. Make the opponent keep playing. See if he gets tight. If he gets tight, you got a better chance. He'll get set, looking to convert on this two-point try. Pryor's back in shotgun formation. You talk about momentum, that turns into an eight-point trip, the touchdown and the two. This offense and the head coach and the offensive coordinator, they're all aggressive. So, hey, well, it's not good enough just to get a touchdown. They want to get that extra point or two points. Nice job that time. They're all over him at the 18-yard line. Fifty-nine. 
DeMarco Murray is in the backfield. Getting away from the pressure. Runs out of bounds. Tony Romo, the only way to explain him, he's a, he's a magician. He's got eyes in the back of his head. He can reverse field. He can step up. He can do whatever he needs to do to hurt the defense. That time, nice little scramble by Tony Romo. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Working that left side. Nice tackle. Someone's been injured out there. Hold on a minute. I think you can just tell by the body language and the way he's acting. That is an upper body injury. Hope it's not severe. We'll let you know as soon as we find out. Quarters formation here for the defense. Looking long. Daz Bryant is there. There's a receiver there and the catch. Touchdown, Dallas. And what a touchdown there for the offense. The quarterback just fires that football in there. Look at the defenders around the receiver, but the receiver big enough, tough enough to go up in there and make that catch. Lining up now for the two-point conversion. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Good and additional. Two points on the board as they convert. The Raiders ready to return the kickoff. dangerous returner and he'll have a chance to show you right here And Holmes is a receiver in the slot. On the run. Throws to the right. Has the catch, but the feet are not down. That's a nice route that time by the wide receiver. Running the corner route, and the quarterback just throws it too far and misses it. Now, second down. He's looking to the right here on this throw. The Raiders get a first down. When a quarterback can run, he usually takes one guy out of pass coverage. Look at the spy that time on the quarterback. That opens up the passing lanes. Good throw and catch. And Holmes is in the slot. Wide open for the catch. They bring him down at the 29-yard line. The quarterbacks and receivers in this NFL now are so good. It's so easy for them to throw and catch and just keep picking up those first downs. Here's the first snap after the big play. Scrambling out of the pocket. Looking across the middle. 
Touchdown. And this game just got a whole lot more interesting. What a terrible job by the defense. That time, nobody even covers the receiver. He is wide open down the field, and hey, nice job by the quarterback going through his progression. He finds the open guy and gets a touchdown pass. The Raiders for the point after. He made it. Sebastian Janikowski lining up for the kickoff. They'll take it at the 20. lines up here Tony Romo uncorks the long pass but it falls incomplete well for some reason this quarterback likes to keep trying to go deep down the field against this cover too that's not the spot you want to go you want to look underneath or right down the middle as the clock is winding down the offense would like to just run it out looking to the right side and throwing he leaps up to grab it how do you stop these receivers now it's almost impossible with the rules of the game uh, tight coverage that time they have double coverage on him it doesn't matter the throw comes they go up they make the catch all you can do is raise your arm and go well we did our best first down and ten Oh, nice job. That cornerback, he was watching the quarterback. He's all over the receiver, so it was easy for him to knock the throw down. The clock's really become a factor here, and the defense knows it has to get off the field as soon as possible to give the team a chance. He'll be brought down, but not before picking up the first down. Don't see enough of this in the NFL anymore, the out route. Everybody's afraid to throw it. They want all those little safe dink and dunks inside, but that is a nice throw and catch by the quarterback and wide receiver. First down here after the completion. Get ready. Two minutes remaining, and you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. First down on the way, Murray. Slashing to the right side. He's got some daylight. Jukes around the defender. Murray fighting for big yardage. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they come up with a play that fools the defense. Here they come, back to the line after picking up over 20 yards on that last play. First and goal. On first down, it's back to the ground game. They call for the timeout to stop the clock. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. Z. 
Kimbra. That leads us to second down. Gun, gun, gun. Challenging the defenders to the right side. End zone bound, and he's got the touchdown. Tight ends are more valuable when you get close to the goal line because they can use their body and push off and get open that way to score touchdowns. Nice job that time for the tight end. Cowboys with the PAT to come. The point after try is in the books. Cowboys will be kicking off. the threat and he'll start his return now down. Offense readying for the snap. Gets away from the pressure. And the quarterback is taken down. Well, you see it all the time. When the offensive line can't stop the defensive pass rush, then you have your running backs hit a defensive lineman before they go out for the pass. Pryor standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. He'll fire it out to the left. And the pass is intercepted. It's going the other way, and this game is all but over. Good job that time by the defense. Not being fooled, being in position. When you're in position, you have a chance to make the play. That time they did, they got the interception. Murray's lined up directly behind the quarterback here. Looking long, Daz Bryant is there, and it's incomplete. What a good job by the defensive back that time. That ball was thrown beautifully down the field. High arcing throw, but the defensive back in great position knocks it down. Coming up, second down. Bryant's going to secure the handoff, trying to power his way right up the middle. That's a gain of eight. That was a running play that time by the offense. It picked up some good yards. Nothing like it. Show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. Marco Murray is in the backfield. Third and two, looking for an open receiver on the right. The Cowboys now move the chains. Well, it doesn't look like much, but it really serves the purpose. Picks up the first down, and now they have a chance to open things up. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Daz Bryant is there, but they can't connect. They call that the moment of truth. It's a beautiful throw down the field, but the defensive back, he waits until it's time to make that jump. He defends the pass, 
What a good job by the defensive back. Second down coming up. Tony Romo uncorks the long pass, but it's incomplete. They went for the deep throw, but the defensive back was there. Yeah, good job that time. I got to give the defensive back a lot of credit. He was not caught sleeping out there. He was alert, read the right keys, and he was right with the receiver to knock down that deep throw. Play number six coming up on this drive. It'll be a third and ten. Dez Bryant with the catch. Touchdown, Dallas Cowboys. Well, that touchdown just put the icing on the kick, Jim. Whatever you want to say, because now the lead's too big. Not enough time for the other team to come back. Great job by the offense. the Cowboys for the point after. Extra point is good. The kicking team now getting set here for what looks like an onside kick. The receiving team has the recovery. They pounce on him there. is lined up now as a slot receiver from the gun getting sacked every defense is looking for somebody to hit the quarterback and the best person to do it is the defensive end what a good job that time by him that's second down coming up drop back shotgun formation looking to scramble airing it out makes the catch Deep down the middle of the field. They're in the red zone, and we're in the late going, and they need to score as quickly as possible. Well, this is where your offensive coordinator's got to call a play that gives you a chance to score quickly. Find something that goes up the seams or vertical uh, down the field so the quarterback has the chance to get the score in one play. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to pack it up. Eyeing that left side. No token in the end zone. What a good job by the offense driving down and getting that touchdown. Even though they're still behind, they're chipping away at this lead, keeping the pressure on their opponents. Ohio! Black, black round. Ohio! Ohio! Well, this works out about 40% of the time if you look back on history, and they'll go for that two-point conversion. So they get the touchdown, but they go for two and fail to convert. I'll be the first to say it. That was a terrible decision to go for the two points. I'll give the defense some credit, but mainly the blame goes to the offensive play call. And the flag comes out. They have the ball back, and the play's continuing. That ball did not travel 10 yards on the onside kick, which is why the flag came out. Yeah, it, it, it took a funny bounce. They were really unlucky that time. It was They caught him by surprise, but the fact that it took that little uh, crazy hop kept it from going 10 yards.
this game is about to finish. First and ten. Throws to the right. Great coverage there on that pass attempt. When you play man-to-man -man coverage, it takes a good throw and catch. That time, neither was there. Another incomplete pass. Only 34 yards to the end zone. DeMarco Murray is in the backfield. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Dez Bryant with the catch. That's going to do it. The clock hits zero, and this game has come to an end. What a 